Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Tuesday, and that means we are using Plagalicious Ubel. So it is, it's super early for me. It's Monday, it's like 6.30 in the morning. I, I went to sleep early, woke up early, you know, early to bed, early to rise, and then I was like, you know what? Class isn't until like 9.30, so let me, let me just get my recordings in now. So, you know, when I come home, I can go ahead and work on some school works, so... Uh, you know, I'm just gonna do the video now. I mean, it's not like you can really tell a difference. I mean, unless there's like the time period that the player base is different, and this is horrible. Uh, no, no, it's okay. I can do plays, just not plays I want to do. Hold on, let me think. Let me think. Shut up, um, let me think. I can go discard special summon, normal summon, plague effect, I mean, Lally effect, banish. Summon. Go into an eight. Plague would go to the graveyard because he was normal summoned. Plague. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. My play is gonna be so fucking good that I'm literally going to have fucking uh two sync sync eights on the field. It's gonna cost me a lot of my resources in my hand, but I'm going to do it. So I need to put you in the graveyard. I need to go ahead and normal summon you. This hand's actually really good. Mally effect. We'll go ahead and banish this Mally. To go ahead and summon. Where's the last Mally in the deck? Where's the last Mally? There you are. Summon you. We'll go ahead and sink eight. We will go straight into Beals. Go straight into him. We will summon uh, Beals. Defense mode, so I don't get freaking 101. We will go. Plague effect. We will pick the Mally on top of the deck, put him on top of the deck, because therefore he'll be back in the deck. We'll go Mally effect. Ah, oh, see? See? There we go. I got it. I got it. That, that was, that, this is a good play. This is a good play. And then we'll just summon it. See? See? And then we can go right back into another sink 8. There we go. There we go. <laughs> It's a good combo. It's a good combo. Then we'll summon Void Ogre. We'll set that. Set that. Pass to you. Damn. God damn. It's a good combo. I mean, just because Bills. Bills made the combo even better. Like, Plexburg and Melee was probably one of the first Synchro combos to X6 that really pushed Synchro. So for them to get another piece in the combo by having Beals just makes them even better. Plus these guys have the exact same stat of 3,000-3,000, so, you know, being in defense mode, I totally don't mind. Oh, of course, you're playing fucking Supply Unit. Who isn't playing Supply Unit, you know? Swear to God. You got enough back row for the fucking class? Shit. Do you have enough back row, sir? I'm not even worried about the supply unit. The supply unit, all it does is confirm another card that he has, so I'm not worried about that. It's these three back rows that I'm worried about. Definitely. I'm afraid of him starting like a multi-chain or something, so I'm gonna go ahead and blind space this one. Yep, deep person. That's exactly what I was worried about. All right, all right, all right. Let me think. Uh, well, I mean, a good play that I can definitely do, which I'm thinking about doing. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, so... I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon Phantom of Chaos. Uh, is that okay? Because what I'm gonna do is overlay these two into a uh, King of Frail Lamp detached, so I can go ahead and uh, get me a... No, I don't wanna do that. 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 Because then I'll be drawing right in. I have a card in my hand, so I don't wanna do that. I do not want to do that. Then I wanna be able to summon it. Then I won't even be able to summon it. (sighs) 
I mean, I can go into Diamond Dyer. Diamond Dyer can pop one of his back rows. I'll, I'll be negging, but I can pop one of his back rows, and Void Ogre can negate the other one. If only freaking uh, Escape had a monster strong enough to summon, but no, it doesn't. <sighs> Shit. Shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for level of chain. In fact, it was a nice good play to get nice and set up. But my whole problem with it is that if I do that whole play, uh, and I have a uh, masculine in my hand, I can't summon it because I have the eights on the field. So that means that you know void ogre would be pretty much pointless. Ooh, I could put necroface on top of the deck. Then I can normal summon necroface. All of those guys would go back to the deck. All the banished ones that go back to the deck. That'd be a pretty good play, actually. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm totally gonna do that. So we're gonna do that. So I'll go ahead and turn White Ogre to attack. Level of chain attack. That's a pretty good play. And Void Ogre attack. Okay. Go ahead. So next turn I'll draw I'll draw the him. Necroface. I clearly go. I can literally go. Oh. All right, this is, the, this is the plan. I'm gonna go ahead and explain it. During his end phase, I was gonna go this and bring Plague back. I'm gonna go ahead and draw him. No, I'll summon him. When he's summoned, I get to go ahead and put these back into the deck. Then I shit you not. If my field wasn't full right now, I shit you not. Look what I got. I got one him. So I can go banish, summon him. Think a he will go to the graveyard. Cause he, no, I think it's still play. when this card leaves. The, when that target is destroyed, destroy this. Card. When this card leaves the field, destroy and banish the target. When that card, is, when that target is destroyed, nope, nope. So he would go to the graveyard. Uses the well, I don't have any cards in my hand. Well, when I get a card in my hand, uses the fact someone. So I, I still got a lot of plays. So that's awesome. But this video is not nearly as long enough. So we're gonna go ahead and get another one in. I'm just I'm just kind of happy that you know all the all the UL decks are doing fairly well right now. That you know, uh, you know, UL beats fine. Plague Glitches is fine. UL has got an upgrade, so hopefully that does fine. UL Fire Kings is fine. Supervised Ubel is fine. Ubel Zectors is fine, and the new Shadows is also doing fine. So, <coughs> uh, excuse me. Everything is just going okay. Uh, this hand is not that good. Not really. Especially drawing this additional melee. I literally might have to do, like, Plague Spreader. Uh, me too. Even though you have no extra deck, so I'm kind of feeling that you're kind of sacky, but I might have to go, I'm going to get a nice and Plague Spreader and figure out a way to get this freaking malicious out of my damn hand. I'm go Plague, put that on top, summon that. That's only when it's summoned. No... Oh my god, my hand is just so shitty. Fact, my hand is ugh, just disgustingly shitty. It literally comes down to whether he can kill my Armageddon Knight or not. My plays, because God, my hand is shitty. Like I didn't think my hand could get this shitty with this deck, but yep, here it goes. Go ahead. If this was Dark Graffer instead of Armageddon Knight, I, it'd be much be I'd have better plays, but... Much better plays if it was Dark Graffer instead of Armageddon Knight. Oh, wow, my Armageddon Knight is literally going to survive. That is great. That that changes that changes a lot of my plays. A lot, a lot, a lot. That literally changes my plays tenfold because Armageddon Knight survived. Oh. Okay. So you you made my you made you made my 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 Armageddon Knight a 19 beater. You made my Armageddon Knight stronger. You mean Armageddon Knight's not weak? You mean he's finally strong? He's always wanted to be strong, <laughs> and he is. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. Well, time to begin. No more summon. That okay? That literally changed my plays like ten fucking fold. Like wow. Because he didn't kill my army at night, 
I went from, you know, worrying about this ham to being like, unless his back row can stop me, I'm about to go just ham. And you guys know how slow I am. It took me a while to figure out what ham was. It died. I was like, I was like, you're about to go ham? Let's say you're about to go pig? You're about to go bacon? Kosher? I don't understand. They're like, hard as a motherfucker. I'm like, oh, Hard as a motherfucker. That's what I'm about to do. I am about to go ham. You might not even see you, Bell, in this episode. Sometimes you don't. And that's the unique thing about these decks on Fireman Y is that sometimes I don't even have to summon you, Bell. Sometimes I don't. That limited risk, that can be used to summon back militias. That can be used to bring back plague spreader, so, you know, I don't have to bring back you, Bell. So we'll go ahead and send you. We'll go ahead and go Mali effect. We will go ahead and banish this Mali to go ahead and bring back. Da 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 Yes. Plague effect. Go ahead and put you on top of the deck. Summon you back. Go ahead and sink eight. No, no, hold on. Set set these two. Set these two. Set these two. Sink eight. So you go to the grave. You get banished. Go ahead and summon Void Ogre. Who is now 35 because he has a dark. So, damn, that's scary. Uh... Then I'm gonna go ch -ch 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 -ch. uh Mally effect. We we'll go ahead and banish this Mally to bring back the Mally that we just put on top of the deck, so we don't draw into that shit. Then we'll go ahead and activate escape. Bring back plague. Go ahead and sink eight again. See, I told you. I told you I was gonna go ham, but you guys you guys didn't believe me. Uh, that's stuck on the field, right? Yeah, that's stuck on the field, so that's fine. Um, then fine, we'll go into Scrap Dragon. Because we have a nice juicy target. We have a nice juicy... Thank you. If I had one more card in my hand, I could actually continue. Or if I set that limit reverse previous, but I just set that this turn. Because I could literally go... I could literally go escape, bring back... Limit reverse, bring back plague, and then sync create again. Or if I had a card in my hand, but I don't, so I'll go ahead and go scrap effect. I will go ahead and pop this to pop one in your back row because Void Ogre can negate the other one. You want to chain it? All right, that's fine. That's fine. Yep. You can have it. I don't care about the tokens. No fucks were given about the tokens that day. Uh. Ch -ch 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 -ch. All right, we're gonna go ahead and handle this. So, uh, level chain, attack one of the tokens. Uh, scrap dragon, attack one of the tokens. And void ogre, attack your face down monster. Thirty-five hundred attack. Holy shit, Mystic Tomato. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You have no extra deck, so I don't have to worry about going like Mystic Tomato, someone a four, someone another four, make a one on one or something. So. Then that'd be a little bit harrowing. Because you'd probably just eat my frickin' Void Ogre. So. See, I let him go with the tokens because I didn't care about the tokens. This is what I'm worried about. You know. so the card couldn't be spe special summon. There can only be one face up of my If there's no face up of my card, your opponent cannot select this target and attack target. This card can attack directly. When this card is normal summon, you can return up to three cards. Okay. This card is normal, so you can turn up the three cards you control to your deck, except this card, then discard the same amount of numbers from your opponent's hand at random. Okay, so you're just a 100 monster that, that can attack me directly, because you can't even use your effect, because you had to be normal summoned for that. So, alright. So you're, you're, you're a normal summoned monster that can poke me directly. I don't even care. Can't use your effect, that's only when you're normal summoned, so you're just a 100 attack monster that can't be attacked and can attack me directly. Oh, I'm my bad, my bad, my bad. You're six hundred. Oh, six hundred attack. That's impossible. No one's been ever able to summon a monster stronger than that. But do, but seriously, seriously, dude, seriously, dude, 
thank you for making my Voidogre 3500, because he totally needed to be even stronger than 3000. And even if he was normal summon, I don't got any cards in my hand, so you're not picking out any random cards, therefore you're not even gaining that 1000 that you could gain even if he was normal summon, so... Uh, what does that do? Target one phase up motion and I feel banished that target until the end phase? I'll negate that. Reasoning. Reasoning, uh, what did I, 10? Uh, I'll say 10. Ten just cause even Yep, there we go. I don't want you to summon any any other Earthbound Immortals. I know Earthbound Immortals are ten. So I don't want you to have any. There is a better field spell than that one you are using for this deck. Mound of the Bound creator. That that is a great fill spell for Earth Bounds. Have you heard of Mound of the Oop uh, Yeah. Yeah. Level ten and higher can cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Draw. Okay, well, I don't have to worry about his background anymore, so, uh, I think it's about time I'm about to go ham again. So, we'll go ahead and activate this, bring back this, Activate Plague Effect. Put the Dark Graffer on top, even though it's nice to have him. Let's summon back the Plague. We'll go ahead and sink 8 again. This time we'll go ahead and go into... Bla I mean, Beals, of course. It's Beals time. We'll go ahead and go Scrap Effect. Get rid of this for this, and then I'll attack with everybody for game. Eighteen, twenty-eight, thirty-five, thirty-five. Just slap the shit out of you. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see, you bell was never summoned, but there were some awesome plays in this episode. So thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with the new updated u Boxes with Mount of the Bound Creator. The card that I was just talking about with that guy is going to be in u Boxes tomorrow, so be sure to check it out. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.